Yo, what's up universe? This is EJ back here again with a different kind of video for you today. In this video, I really hope this sort of goes viral or around the Pokemon or even Yu-Gi-Oh community. And even, I would say, the parents of kids who are involved in the card collecting community. Because this is a very important video that I wanted to make. And I know it's coming around the holidays. Christmas and all that good jazz and I know whenever it comes to kids or even teenagers they really really want to get their hands on Pokemon cards and Yu-Gi-Oh cards for that matter and I know I'm a channel that revolves around both of those trading card games and I wanted to actually talk about something that I find that's a problem so like you guys know I'm a card pack opening kind of channel some random gameplay here and there but there is a problem that's going around so whenever it comes to me buying my booster boxes that I open for y'all guys I usually buy them either at the comic book store I buy the booster boxes you know factory sealed I know they're not tampered with hopefully not and I also get go on eBay and buy booster boxes on there and whenever I do that I've really had no problem you just have to really do your research and make sure that they're factory sealed make sure they're not being messed with and also make sure of course they're not fake boxes if they're really really cheap like 20 30 dollars they're mostly likely fake or in a different language but that's not what what, what I'm really trying to speak for y'all today and this mostly goes to younger children who want to buy a booster box or they don't really have enough money so they want to sort of go with a cheaper route or same thing with the parents and i know it's there's some people that are very new to whenever it comes to ebay or anything on the internet so whenever it comes to a booster box for pokemon they usually go for 90 100 110 bucks at on eBay and then at the store I think they're 110 but you can't find them at Walmart or Target you mostly find them either at a comic book store or that's really about it so to cut to the chase on eBay you can go and get a booster box factory sold for 90 100 or 110 bucks but what I've come to find out there's some sellers who actually take the packs out of the box and sell them individually or loose packs. So what they usually do is they get the regular 36 packs or the packs that equal to a booster box and they sell them basically individually outside the box, not factory sealed. So you have the seller taking all, all the packs and putting them in, I don't know if it's plastic wrap or something, but it's not the factory sealed box. And they sell these for around maybe 10 bucks cheaper, 20 bucks cheaper, maybe 30 bucks cheaper from a regular booster box of the same set. And whenever it comes to parents or younger kids and they see this and they're like, oh wow, we're getting a good discount. I would like to tell you that stay away, stay away from these loose packs that are being sold for cheaper. It may look good, Whenever you see these loose packs going for maybe 70, 60 bucks compared to the booster box, which is going for 90 or 100. But I wanted to share you, share with you some crazy things that have been happening with these. So, and a couple reasons why you should steer clear of these individual packs. So, whenever it comes to weighted packs, weighted packs mean whenever you get a Pokemon card pack and you put you actually weigh it and why sellers do this is because if it weighs a little bit more that means there's a holographic or a very very expensive card in there so what the seller does they're like you know what we're gonna keep these packs and then whenever they weigh the other packs the packs that weigh less that don't have anything good no fire in them then they're like let's gather these packs up and sell 36 of them and sell them to a 
person who's trying to get a booster box for cheaper. And at the end, the buyer gets screwed. And am I saying all p sellers do this whenever they sell individual booster packs? No, I'm not saying that. But it's at the same time, it's still very, very scary and daunting to invest your money into these packs, even though they're cheaper. It's it's a big risk. And people are also skeptical, uh, skeptical of buying booster boxes just on eBay at all. But from my experience, buying booster boxes that are factory sealed and I make sure that they're legit, I've never had a bad experience opening them. I've actually put some good cards. And I always, always, always stay clear of those loose packs because at the end they can screw you and another thing i wanted to talk about was ma is mapping and evidently they've got rid of mapping what mapping is is whenever the original sun and moon set came out i think it was maybe last year in the spring what happened was these were printed uh booster boxes they, they printed them out like 36 packs but i saw a couple youtubers and they were actually looking at these packs and they were mapped, meaning you could tell which ones had fire in them, had good holographic cards in them by just sorting them out. And then they could throw all the packs like with nothing, like nothing good in there, no holographics in there in another pile. And it was easy to do. It was every box that was like this. So what you had was easily sellers easily mapping these booster boxes and getting rid of all the stuff they didn't want, all the bad packs, and selling those while keeping the goods. And I know that I hear that this practice doesn't happen anymore, but that's another reason I would just stay clear of these. I would not touch them. And just to think of that, that's just, think of, if you're an adult, think of just buying go on eBay and you, you didn't want to spend maybe the extra money, you know, sometimes the holidays can be tight. You didn't want to go to the store, pay that 110 at the comic book store. So you go on eBay, you look at these loose packs that are 36 loose packs out of the box for $70, $80. And you're like, you know, this is a good deal. And you buy them for your kids and then they open them and they don't get anything valuable. It's a it's a straight-up scam and whenever it comes to scams no one wants to be scammed that's the biggest thing no one no one in the right mind wants to be scammed and I've seen a couple of reddit posts where these guys would buy loose packs not even like the full 36 booster box but just loose packs that sellers sell and they get screwed over at the end and get scammed and mm -hmm. I've been through a scamming before, not in Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh or anything like that, but whenever I was playing Ultimate Team for uh, EA, it's electron electronics, like video games. Whenever I did packs for uh, Madden 12, I think, I got scammed once. And it's the crummiest feeling whenever you, you never get those cards back. Because I got scammed for three cards, and I just felt just sick that I lost so much money and so much hard work from those cards that I collected and it just went down the drain so I never want children or these adults that are trying to buy Pokemon cards for Christmas for the, their kids for Christmas or any other occasion like their birthday and get scammed by these sellers who just do not care about anything and they just want to keep all the goods for themselves and I've also also seen whenever it came to Walmart or Target that they actually don't do the uh, whenever it comes to the booster boxes like the end of, uh, no the booster packs are individually so they put them in this cardboard I guess now I think that's how they sell them the poke like Pokemon uh, yeah Pokemon they sell them in this little cardboard thing so you can't really easily wait it anymore which is a good thing because whenever it comes to sell them just right out of the box, not a lot of people are comfortable with it. And even whenever I go to the comic book store today, 
they also open the booster box and they just grab the card packs out there to sell individually and i do not trust that because easily one of their employees could be like hey you know what i'm gonna start weighing these in the back and just take all the good packs and then just sell the other ones you know same price for four dollars a pack and just sell them and no one gets any good cards so that's why i just strictly buy booster boxes or the individual packs at the store like at walmart or target because i put some good stuff out of just individual packs at the store but do not trust ebay and yeah i think i've rambled on some points but just a summary of this video just steer clear of these loose or individual booster packs if you do want to spend a little bit cheaper i would still go on ebay and look for the booster boxes that are 10 or 20 dollars cheaper um there's some good sellers that i'll probably show you after i make this video show you like during the video some good sellers that i've opened some fire from to help y'all out but other than that thank you i hope the word gets spread this video and i know i've been very very rambling and just stuttering but this is one of my few commentary videos so i'm trying to get better but hopefully i'll have a good holidays adults be careful and then also children i hopefully your parents get you these fire packs, these fire cards, these fire booster boxes, and y'all have a great day.